Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. Newport News police are investigating three shootings. You'll hear from a woman who heard the gunshots from her bed. Plus, the red flags are out, the waves are up. We have a look at what's keeping lifeguards busy. And a lot of things have to move out of the way of a new highway. Now VDOT says it's changing the way deals are made so they can pave the way to progress. Right now at 6, the Newport News community is concerned, worried, even scared about violent crime. They're getting ready to talk about the big issue they face. It comes after gunfire rang through the community three times over the weekend. The latest happened late last night on 22nd Street in the East End. Police say someone shot 19-year-old Richard Lewis in the head. That followed two shootings early Sunday morning and many more even before that. Penny your side's Aaron Kelly joins us now. And Aaron, no one is arguing that something needs to be done. Certainly, a lot of people are questioning what's happened this weekend. Uh, we talked to police about this. There's no indication right now that they are connected, and they don't have any uh, indication of what motivated these shootings. We need to get it together for the sake of the children. It's a plea you'll hear over and over inside a Newport News community that saw three young people shot on one Sunday. All of a sudden, I just heard gunshot. I was really surprised when I heard the news this morning that it was in my neighborhood, you know. I said, well, somebody got hurt out here in the neighborhood. Newport News police say the gunfire Loretta Mercer heard from her bed came Sunday night at 11 when someone shot 19-year-old Richard Timothy Lewis in the head. Hours earlier, two 18-year-olds were hurt when police say someone fired at a crowd with a shotgun on Katina Way. The same day, a 19-year-old noticed he'd been shot in the hand on Blake Loop after a shooting there. Angela Harris and Dawood Muhammad of the Moton Community House say they know the victim of the latest shooting. We've been knowing him ever since he was a baby. Him and his family, every, I mean, they always over here having, uh, having a good time. And I, I, I remember him smiling. Smiling all the time. Tonight, they'll attend a meeting with other community members to talk about how to change things. It's a community program that goes on with the East, East End Neighborhood Association where they try to bring the, the community together to speak on various issues that, uh, that, uh, that is affecting our community's time. And that meeting, 6 o'clock tonight uh, at the First Church of Newport News. If you know anything about these cases, police are asking you to call the crime line. Live in Newport News, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. Police in Norfolk need your help to find a missing woman. This is Tammy Marie Jackson. She has dementia. No one has seen her since 2 a.m. at her home on Tate Terrace. Police say she often wears a scarf over her head. Take a good look here. She may be with her black and white dog also. If you've seen Tammy Marie Jackson, call the crime line. Also in Norfolk, a car dealership is under investigation. Tell your side got a tip about DMV agents conducting a search at Victory Lane Motors on Virginia Beach Boulevard. Officials tell us the agents were looking for all documents and data related to vehicles, but they wouldn't give specifics. They did say anyone who bought a car from Victory Lane and never received a title, placed a car in consignment, or returned a car should call the DMV. The number is 757-455-0881. We'll put this number on wavy.com for you. And gunfire this weekend in Portsmouth, where police are investigating two unrelated shootings. The first happened on Town Point Road late Saturday night. Officers got to the scene and found a man shot in the arm. No suspects yet in that case. And then just after 11 p.m. Saturday, police responded to Merrimack Trail in Swanson Homes near 264 in Elm. One person was hurt. If you know anything about either of these shootings, give police a call. The red flags are up along the oceanfront and the Outer Banks. That means dangerous conditions in the water. Those flags have been up all day, as we showed you live during Wavy News 10 Midday. It also keeps lifeguards busy. Ten of your side, Liz Palka, takes us to the beach. Liz, any major issues out there at the oceanfront today? Well, Nicole, there have already been a dozen water rescues today. We talked to a lifeguard earlier. He said, fortunately, these have not been near drownings, just people who needed help getting back to the shore. Take a look at some of the video. We can show you just how choppy it is out here. You still have to be very careful in the water. Guards with the Virginia Beach Life Saving Service are not letting you go in the water past your waist. They say they're really trying to keep people knee to waist deep. Everyone down here has been remarking on how much the guards have been blowing their whistles and making sure no one is out too deep where the currents are strong. Lifeguard Gary Felch says all this is due to strong winds coming from the northeast. It's making the water very choppy, and he's not just talking about for swimmers. 
some of the guards that have been in the water, either on rescues or just during drill or just to take a dip, have said the current's pretty strong and it's pulling pretty hard. So if you know if it's rough on more experienced swimmers, it's definitely going to be rough on some of the novice swimmers as well. All right, take a look at this down on the guard chair. You can see the red flags are on the back of the guard chairs. When you come down here, Felch said the flags will be up for the rest of the day. However, they do check these conditions day by day. He says sometimes they can change them uh, throughout the day, but they're certainly staying up for all of Monday. And he says there's a chance they will be back up tomorrow as well. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Those northeast winds causing those dangerous rip currents. We'll bring in Chief Meteorologist Don Slater for a look at when will those winds calm down, Don? I think uh, they'll calm down a little bit tomorrow, become more southeasterly, and then by uh, Wednesday, I think they'll be gone. Uh, and rip currents are really quite common, obviously, uh, this time of year, and especially later on in the summer. But they can happen as often as uh, every week. Here's a live camera, and we don't have control of it, uh, from Surfline.com, uh, just to give you an idea of what's going on. And what we've got going on, is a general onshore flow of air. I'm just going to draw on it here. And that breeze uh, that we're seeing come on shore, it's not horribly strong. There's the red flag warning. It's just that that extends for a thousand miles out there, or it may not be a thousand miles out, uh, but hundreds of miles out there. So that builds up these waves. And these waves are not even. They're not even at all. And what happens is uh, with that, uh, you, get all, you get these uneven waves where you get a wave coming in from this area and another wave coming in from that angle. Well, that's mass in, mass in, and then double mass out, and that can really, really throw and get uh, some rip currents on out there. So that'll ease off the next couple of days. How about the uh, nice weather? That's going to ease off into more heat and humidity, too. We'll tell you about that coming up in a few minutes. An update now to a story we told you about last week. There are apparently more cases of birds being shot with blow darts in Hampton Roads. Just this past weekend, five more people called the SPCA to report shot birds in Virginia Beach. None of those birds have been caught. One was also spotted in Chesapeake, and a vet treated it. In all, 16 birds stuck with uh, blow darts have been spotted or caught. A reminder, Canada geese, one of the birds shot, are protected by federal law, and you might be fine for shooting one. PETA is also offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. State lawmakers are back at the Capitol tonight to talk about how much of the money that they'll spend and the items that Governor McAuliffe crossed off that list. The biggest veto, the Republican-backed amendment aimed at preventing McAuliffe from expanding Medicaid without lawmaker approval. The governor basically said last week that he'll do it on his own. The House started the debate about an hour ago. The Senate begins at 7. We'll let you know if anything happens tonight on Wavy.com and, of course, on Wavy News 10 at 11. Ahead at 6, a heartbreaking weekend for a local family. A husband and wife killed in a car crash. See what people in that area say about the dangerous stretch of road. You know all those stories 10 on your side's been doing about eminent domain, the government taking your land? Well, VDOT's been watching those stories, and tonight... They're doing something about it. I'll have that story coming up. Close captioning is brought to you by Michael and Son. Ooh, you need car insurance? Did we get the best price on our car insurance? I think we did. I mean, travel sites offer side by side comparisons, but car insurance sites don't. Ah, but one site does. Comparenow.com is the website where you can get real unbiased comparisons for car insurance because they don't sell car insurance. They simply compare everyone else's so you know you're getting the right price. So there's nothing to lose. Indeed, Heather. Indeed. Next ET, Paula Deen's first interview since announcing her new network, our behind-the-scenes exclusive, then the 25th anniversary of Batman. What are you? I'm Batman. Next ET. <laughs> Monday at 7 p.m. on Wavy TV 10. Coming on at 10 o'clock lets us develop more stories. So much can change. Breaking news happens. It's always something fresh, something new. Wavy News 10, every night at 10 and 11. The perfect way to move up. Accurate TSX. Super quick, super smart.
Acura TL, aggressive but elegant. Acura RDX, built for the size of your life. With Acura, you get more boom for your buck. Find your local Acura dealer at Hampton Roads, AcuraDealers.com. This segment of Wavy News 10 is brought to you by Priority Automotive, where you can have it all. You can have it all. You can have it all during Priority Super Savings Days. You can have discounts up to $8,500. Get up to 150% of book value for your trade. Finance at 0%. Make no payments for 90 days. Plus, priorities for life. Look for Super Savings Days at all Priority dealerships. You can have it all. Tonight, friends and family are mourning the loss of a husband and wife killed in a crash over the weekend. 51-year-old Richard Dowdy and his 54-year-old wife Eugenie are being remembered as loving, hardworking people. At about 7 last night, the sheriff's office says they lost their lives in a single vehicle crash on Governor Darden Road in Cortland. Mr. Dowdy was driving a Chevy pickup truck when he apparently lost control, ran off the side of the road, and hit a tree. Both died at the scene. A neighbor says it's a paved, narrow, two-lane road with many sharp curves. I've traveled it often, but I'm aware that you have to be careful. The other thing is there is not much shoulder. If you run off the hard surface, you're going to be in trouble. And I suspect, I understand that that's what happened. They overcorrected. The Dowdies are survived by two adult children and extended family. A friend tells 10 on your side they recently celebrated the birth of their first grandchild. Next at 6, a big change for VDOT. Andy Fox looks at the person being added to the payroll specifically to handle the property disputes that come with progress. It's Empire Today's whole house sale. Buy two rooms and get carpet, hardwood, vinyl, tile, or laminate for the rest free when you pay for padding and installation. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. Sometimes it's not good to compare, and sometimes it is. Just go to comparenow.com and see how much you can save on your car insurance. Enter your information once and see multiple quotes side by side. No fees, no sales pitches, no spam, just the facts. Comparenow.com. Real, unbiased comparison. This is Paul's new Honda Civic, the same car that will take him and a very pretty girl on the best first date ever, with the Pandora that will set the mood on their one-year anniversary, and the Bluetooth that will remind him she's a keeper, and don't mess this up, and the glove compartment that will hold everything he needs, including one very small box. Start something special now with the Civic from KBB.com's most trusted car brand. Visit your local Honda dealer today. Right now, Meredith is deciding to rededicate her life to caregiving. James will decide to take his biggest step yet in his professional life. Right now, you can join them at South University. At our College of Nursing and Public Health, you can earn a Bachelor of Science in Nursing or an RN to Bachelor of Science in Nursing. At South University, we can connect you to a program to prepare you with the knowledge you need. Call or visit us online. Your health care future takes its next step right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Sometimes it's not good to compare, and sometimes it is. Just go to comparenow.com and see how much you can save on your car insurance. Enter your information once and see multiple quotes side by side. No fees, no sales pitches, no spam, just the facts. Comparenow.com, real unbiased comparison. Empire's whole house sale is on now. Buy two rooms, get carpet for the rest free when you pay for padding and installation. Schedule now. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. The Volkswagen Passat is heads above the competition, but we're not in the business of naming names. The fact is, it comes standard with an engine that's been called the benchmark of its class. Really, guys? I thought... It also has more rear legroom than other mid-sized sedans. Yeah. And the Volkswagen Passat has a lower starting price than... much better. The... <sighs> Hurry in and get 0% APR for 60 months on 2014 Passat gasoline models. Release the 2014 Passat S for $189 a month. Property takeover disputes are prompting change within VDOT. They've reported, we've reported on these a number of times as highways continue to expand. The most recent involves a Portsmouth business being forced to make way for the MLK Expressway. And this battle is over money. 
And in your side's Andy Fox, talk with the man in charge, VDOT, who says that they're changing the way they handle that part of the business. Andy? Tom, that case we reported on Friday involves Old Dominion demolition. Secretary of Transportation Aubrey Lane saw our report, and when we called him today, he told us first about a new position effective today that has just been posted on the VDOT website, a new post to help settle some land disputes before they get out of hand legally and financially. Two years ago, Virginia voters approved a constitutional amendment, making it harder for local governments to take your property. Joe Waldo is nationally recognized fighting against governments taking private property. I think two years ago, the people of Virginia spoke like never before. I think the Virginia Department of Transportation, in their own way, is trying to respond to the lightning that struck. And what Waldo calls a proactive move, Secretary of Transportation Aubrey Lane has established an eminent domain ombudsman who now handles complaints against government heavy-handedness in taking private property. An auditor reports directly to the Secretary of Transportation. So even though it's in VDOT, it reports directly to my office. Um, and so there is an independence. It does not report up through the normal channels of VDOT. That ombudsman could have helped resolve the taking of the Ramsey property we reported on in February. They ended up getting more than what VDOT offered, but everyone had to go to court. The ombudsman could even have helped the central radio owner who was tied up in court four years trying to stop the ODU Real Estate Foundation from taking his land. The state Supreme Court ruled it was wrong to take his property. If there was a third party, an independent party like an ombudsman looking at central radio, probably that never would have gone that far. Secretary Lane understands that too. What it's about is making sure that we are following the law, we're being fair with our citizens, and making sure that they are given every opportunity to have their case heard. Secretary Lane calls the ombudsman transparency in the process. Waldo like calls it a good stuff. idea. Hopefully it will help. But again, you know, I'm optimistic, but I'm going to, you know, keep the powder dry, so to speak, and see what happens. Go to our website at wavy.com and we will send you to the Department of Transportation website that has all the information you need to know about the right of way ombudsman. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Don Slater. And we're going to start out with something a little bit unusual, and this happened a little while ago. Uh, we got word of it. However, we're not the, the uh, uh, Pacific coastline is not hugely concerned with it. Tsunami warnings for Alaska, but only for the Aleutian Islands. Major, major earthquake. However, it was deep, deep underground, uh, so chances are that they're not going to see any big tsunami, uh, tsunami take place. In fact, there are no tsunami warnings going on uh, for the west coast of the United States, only for the Aleutian Islands, right on out into here. Uh, magnitude 8.0. It was at 4.53 this afternoon, our time, 24 miles southeast of Little Sitkin Island uh, in Alaska. And again, these are just uh, the chain of the Aleutians reaching way, way out out there. That's where it was. Where are we? Well, we're halfway across the world almost, or a quarter of the way across the world. And we're not Alaska. we got a gradual return to heat coming up in the next couple of days. Now, as far as cloud cover, just a few thin clouds. That's about it. Rainfall? Nope. Way, way way on off to the west, uh, as is the humidity. And that's going to start to return a little bit tomorrow and a lot more coming up uh, by Wednesday. There's where we are tomorrow morning. Cloud cover, nope. Rain, nope. Rain, nope. Not at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon or 7 o'clock in the evening. We move our way into Wednesday. Little better chance of some rain right on in through here. Uh, and again, its a, uh, resolution is a little more blocky, uh, but you can get the idea where the rain is coming from by Wednesday evening. And we go into Thursday morning. All is quiet, but in the heat of the day, Thursday, we could see some more showers and thunderstorms through the region, but not right now. And it's going to be a nice, gentle transition uh, into more heat and humidity over the next couple of days. But for right now, uh, the air is relatively dry. Skies are mostly clear. We've got that breeze coming in off of the water. And we talked about that uh, rip current threat that's continuing mainly because the breeze is just uh, continuing for so long. It's built uh, the waves on up, but it'll start to drop on off, becoming more southeasterly and southerly over the next couple of days. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, east-southeast winds to 5 to 10, 10 mile an hour winds at the noon hour, and by the end of the day, more of a southeasterly breeze. 
at 10 to 15. Now, again, that's going to knock down uh, that rip current threat just a tad uh, coming up for tomorrow by the end of the day. 7 o'clock on Wednesday, light southerly wind, 5 to 10, take it to the end of the afternoon, and we're seeing some scattered showers and thunderstorms build up uh, to our west. Little wind shift lines are out there, uh, but basically a southerly wind, more heat, more humidity, uh, so things will warm back on up to around 90 uh, by Wednesday, upper 80s to around 90. Cloud cover. Uh, the only thing that we can see moving is just the fact uh, that again, a little bit more of a, uh, a little bit of a ray coming in off of the sun. Temperatures right now around 75, 80 degrees. 75 near the water's edge, 80 degrees farther inland, 82 right now into Williamsburg. Current temperature readings again near the water, 75, 76, 77, and then into the low 80s farther inland with that breeze coming in off the water. It's not too terribly strong, but it is out there and it is holding down the temperature farther inland. 86 is normal for this time of year, uh, so we are a little bit below normal with those temperature readings. 60, 61, 62 for the dew point, 70 plus is humid. We saw that last week with all that 95 degree heat, but very nice dry air throughout the region right now into the 50s and low 60s for dew points. Gives you an idea how uh, dry the air is. Overnight, dropping on down to about 66 degrees. Very, very pleasant uh, during the overnight hours. Some inland areas a little cooler near the waters edge a little bit warmer than that uh, so we get very very pleasant weather during the overnight hours 86 for a high temperature tomorrow a little bit of an increase in cloud cover but really kind of thin cloud cover a lot of it too and there's, there's we are into tomorrow evening so for tomorrow not bad near normal 86 degrees 89 on Wednesday right back into the soup as the heat and the humidity return with stray showers and thunderstorms a chance each day from Wednesday all the way into Monday. We'll update everything for you at 11. We'll tell you more about that rip current risk, too. We'll be coming up on Wavy News 10 at 11. A shocker in soccer for the U.S. team in the World Cup. A look back at yesterday's thriller in Brazil. And the Virginia baseball team is looking to win its first ever national baseball championship. A preview of tonight's game next on the Sports Wrap. Here's a revolutionary idea. Combine the next big thing with truly unlimited data. It's the Samsung Galaxy S5. And Intellos Wireless has it now. It's the most innovative new smartphone. And the freedom to actually use it. Intellos will even buy out your current contract when you switch. So you can get out of a bad relationship and into a Galaxy S5. Stand up and demand more. Intellos. Wireless for the people. Now's the time. Southern Kia is the place. New 2014 Kia Optima, only $17,988. Plus, save thousands with our Southern Hospitality Buyers Program. The lowest prices and largest selection, only at Southern Kia. Southern, iPad or Android. When you've got the 2014 North American Truck of the Year offering the most innovative cargo bed in its class, you can do a lot. You just don't have to hear a lot. Introducing the all new Chevy Silverado from the family of the most dependable, longest lasting pickups on the road. Now, active military and veterans can get a total value of $8,600 on this Silverado 1500 All Star Edition. Chevrolet, find new roads. My appetite was changing, and I figured something was wrong. And I also found a lump. It was thyroid cancer. The cancer had spread from the thyroid to a number of lymph nodes, so we proposed a course of radiation therapy and came up with a treatment plan. Without them, I would not be here. Dr. Prestige was just very kind, and he actually listened to me. At Bon Secor, we see cancer differently. Bon Secor treats me like a person, not a patient. Bon Secor, good help to those in need. Assess your cancer risk at HamptonRoadsCancer.com. Never clean out your gutters again. LeafGuard by Starling Guttering. Wavy's expert on your side. SUV shopping, all new 2015 Kia Sorento, $289 a month, no cash down, sign and drive. Plus, save thousands with our Southern Hospitality Buyers Program. For the lowest prices, largest selection, you've got to go to Southern, Southern Kia. Southern 
Only Dempsey to aim at, really, it nearly got to him. He has got to Bradley. And then Susie and Dempsey is the onside. He is. It's 2-1 to the U.S. It was the most watched soccer game in U.S. history as over 18 million Americans watched yesterday's USA-Portugal matchup in Brazil. But what might have been our nation's biggest soccer win ended up as one of the U.S. team's most disappointing draws. You may not be a big soccer fan, but you have to admit, yesterday's World Cup game between the U.S. and Portugal was as exciting as they get. Team captain Clint Dempsey, playing with a broken nose, gave the overachieving Americans a 2-1 to -one lead in the 81st minute of the regulation 90-minute game. It looked like it would be the game winner, but Portugal wasn't about to go down without a fight. Seconds away from victory, an exhausted Michael Bradley gave the ball away, and Cristiano Ronaldo finally came up with a big play curling this perfect cross to Silvestre Valera, who beat goalie Tim Howard with a header as the game ended in a two-all draw. 39 seconds away from escaping the group of death, it all ended in shock and draw. Obviously, we're disappointed, but at the end of the day, you got to look at the positives. We got a point. We're on four points now. Uh, you know, the, it's going to go down to the last game, and uh, just unlucky uh, not to get three points. But at the end of the day, we got a point, and uh, we're still, uh, you know, looking good in the group. Indeed, they are. The U.S. concludes group play Thursday afternoon against Germany. A win or draw advances them to the knockout round. With a loss, the U.S. will either need a tie in the Portugal. Ghana match or a win or they'll have to win a tie-breaking scenario against the winner of that game to continue. The University of Virginia baseball team is two wins away from winning the College World Series and game one against Vanderbilt is tonight. It's the best two out of three playoff out in Omaha with the Who's looking for their first ever national title ranked number one through most of the regular season uva has won thanks to its outstanding pitching and outstanding defense and enters tonight's game with an extra day of rest so how much will that help from a pitching perspective it's big uh, especially for your bullpen you know uh, gives Artie and nick another day our goal was to not to, to just get here but to to win while we're here so to have so much success while we're here and to put ourselves in a position to win a national championship is all you can really ask for Virginia is looking to become the first ACC team to win the title since Wake Forest did it back in 1955. Tonight's game on ESPN begins at 8 o'clock. Basketball great Allen Iverson leads a six-member cast to be inducted into the Hampton Road Sports Hall of Fame this fall. We'll have more on the entire class, plus all the NASCAR news on Monday Thunder and the plays of the week at 1045 tonight on the Fox 43 Sports Wrap. All right. Good Looking luck. good in the weather, too. Lovely day. Yeah, yeah a really uh, per picture-perfect day today. It's only in the low 80s for most of us. A little cooler than that at the water's edge. Not bad tomorrow. Uh, around 82, up to about 87 inland. And then we start to see the heat and humidity and the straight showers return. Wraps it up for a Monday. That's right. We are always on Wavy.com, and we'll be back at 10 and 11.